Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire! <laughs> and I am super elated to be scrutinizing another swing dance video for you today. But first, make sure you subscribe and mash that notification button so you never miss a swing dance reaction video ever again. Right now, we're going to Inspiration Weekend 2020, and we're going to be looking at a slow jam finals. And I have a very specific way of judging slow dances. Do not let your hearts be troubled. I will be telling you the absolute truth about who I feel are the winners of this competition. Super excited to get into this one. I'm not sure who's going to be in this competition, so let's do it. So if you are someone who gets triggered by the truth, this is not the place for you. All right, so let's not play around with this one, folks. Get into some slow dancing. All right. Oh, this is good. This is even better. They have a live band. I thought this was going to be the like tracks and things like that. <clears throat> I really love when they do it just to like live music. Yes. <laughs> so one of the things that I, I love to look for in slow dancing is I want to see if the leader can move less than the follower. I really... I really believe this tempo highlights the follower as the echo of the movement. And that's one of the things I look for in that element of control. Can I see the leader move slower than the follower? And so far, both of these leaders are doing quite well on that. <clears throat> so let's see how steep this competition gets. This band, yes. So like I say guys, since the majority of dancing is subjective, you gotta have those solid foundations of how you judge and that's the first thing I look for is the control aspect of the dance. They all are choosing what kind of shapes they wanna do. They can all clearly dance. So I'm looking at how well they're actually executing what they are doing. <clears throat> so far for me, the very first couple is still in the lead based on what, uh, what I'm looking for in terms of as a judge to see that control. But we might have a contender. Uh oh. So this is a great example. The leader is not rushed, and I'm now able to see and appreciate the effect of the cause, which is the follower. Alright, so, so far this couple is now taking the top spot in my opinion. I really like when it's slow like that and it's controlled. And I think they demonstrated it the best so far. Okay, I think I know this leader. It might be Kevin. Might be. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm liking the creativity <clears throat> so far. I'm still seeing I'm still seeing the leader move just a little bit more than the follower. 
Good creativity, but the control part was a little lacking. I would probably um, have them just a little bit in third place, maybe. Okay, so now it looks like it's round two. Okay, so right now this was the couple I had in first, and now I have them in second. I have them in second, they're doing a good job at that balance. <clears throat> Okay. I th wait a minute. I think this is a dancer. Her, her name is Grace. <clears throat> it's so funny when you watch competitions, you look at what they're doing and you forget who you're actually watching sometimes. So that's. I think that's really good. I think it's kind of helpful. I can pay attention to what they're actually doing as opposed to what I want them to do or what I've known them for. Um, that was really good. That was really good. Let's see what happens here. <clears throat> he was doing like some popping. Did you see that? The audience liked that. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Ah, oh, yeah, see, now in this case, the follower was crushing it on those little syncopations and slides, but I was distracted because the leader was doing it too, and I, ah, oh, I just, those are those moments you can't change, it just, sometimes it happens. Let's see. Okay, this was this was the couple I had in first so far. Let's see if they maintain what I'm looking for. Here we go. They're looking good. Okay guys, <clears throat> there you have it. We're gonna dive in a little bit deeper on why I liked them so much. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I like that. Some of those those classic drag moves. That's that's pretty clever. And not a whole lot of people were doing that so far. Um, so I, I like that. Those are some of the moves I like. All right, let's see. Band's modulating, taking it up. Preach. That was pretty impressive. Let's dive into it. I will say it is very difficult to judge slow. It really is, but there are some markers that give everything away uh, in terms of what I like to judge by. Because you know every judge has a way that they like to judge, but most of the time you will never hear what those standards are. They just remain in the judge's heads in a very elusive way. But you guys know me, I like to share 
what I like to judge on so that you have an idea. If you ever see me in a competition and I'm judging, you will know what I'm looking for. So <clears throat> number one couple, I didn't have a third place. I had top two. Number one couple, obviously, uh, was the couple I mentioned. And let me, di let me dive into the reasons why I liked this couple so much. He had a blue jacket on. She had the red shoes on, a black dress. That's not why I liked them. It wasn't just because of their clothes. I will say her shoes were pretty dope. As you can see, I like red shoes. Uh, what I liked most is with, they followed the parameters of what I was looking for. The leader was just simply leading and waiting and allowing the audience to see the effect of the call. That's super hard to do. I will admit, even as a professional, it's hard to just be like, let me do my part and just shh, just shh, relax and let my partner move and, and be free and elegant so we can appreciate what is actually being initiated. So when I looked at everybody and I contrast them with the, this couple's particular movement, what I liked most is the control. I could see the follower. I could see her movement, her movements, and they were clear and they're concise. I don't really care too much about what she decided to do. That's what they decided to do. I just so happen to like the movements. And in many cases, I may not like the movements, but can still rate them pretty high. But what I do like is that I could see the bare minimum, the control. That's the part that tells me they understand how to dance in terms of technique. But more importantly, it showed me how mature they were with the technique. The leader wasn't just, just moving and the follower wasn't just moving without the leader. They were one body sharing energy at different points. And that for me is just, that's top notch. That's at least top three. The reason I had them in first is because of that, but also the timing. The timing was there. The timing was there with the music. They were able to highlight the biggest points in the music without it being too sexual. People don't like that. They're like, oh, Jamin, you can't have an opinion on that. That's how we want to dance. That's great. Every judge has an opinion. I don't like it when they are way too sexual. We are doing swing dancing. And think about it in contrast to the original generation. If my people were ridiculed for just holding a follower a certain way, just, just holding a partner a certain way, and that was looked at as like over the top, well, how do we stay within the confines of that respect? We can't just say, oh, they're old fashioned, let's just do whatever we want. Well, then I can't bring my kids to a swing dance. And my grandma might be offended. <laughs> I don't want that. So they stayed within the aesthetic of what is appealing even for swing. And it was sensual, it was silky, but it wasn't hypersexual. That's always such a turnoff for me as a judge when I see the leader just like making the follower do things. Or if I just see the follower just doing stuff and the leader just like, just stay right here with me. Like, what's, I'm with you. It's me and you. It's me and you, what are we doing? Okay, so they did not violate that. That's the thing that I value so much is the control and the timing, but it's not hypersexual. I also look for creativity. I want to see stuff that hasn't been done before. And that's really hard to do when it's slow. Um, so I get it. A lot of people like to get the crowd into it. And so they do stuff that I don't like to get the crowd going. But for me, that doesn't mean I rate them high just because the crowd was screaming. You know what I mean? That's not, that's just what the crowd liked. I'm looking at what they're doing with the technique. And if it's admirable within the confines of what I like as a judge. And so that's why I have them in first place. They killed it. There was that movement with him uh, bringing his hand down and she was just like sliding, doing a split. And he didn't do all this extra stuff. Like, he, you know, it just it was just enough. He just stood there like, you see, look what happens when you move slow. First place. You see that? And she just got up slow and he was just like, look, see, I love that. So whoever they are, big mad props because they were crushing it. They were crushing it. My second place couple has to go to the first couple. I also like them because they still fit the same model. They did do a little rah-rah stuff kind of at the end of their first set, which I don't, you know, they can choose to do that, the dirty dancing look. But for me, that's a little too much for the genre. It's just like, okay. Um, but they could do the control part. They could do the control part. I will say they didn't do it as much 
uh, as clear and as uh, controlled and disciplined as the couple I have in first, because clearly I felt like many times when the follower is about to say something really important that I could visually see, the leader interrupted with some footwork. And my brain was like, well, what's that? Oh, what's she about to say? Oh, something shiny over there. You know, and I felt I felt that little dichotomy sometimes kind of getting in the way of them functioning at one body as one body at different points. Uh, you know, share, functioning as one body, sharing energy at different points. That's what I meant to say. I'm, I'm tired. I haven't had any lunch today. So what do you guys think about this? What do you think about my opinion of these dancers? Do you have a standard of judging? If you don't, you need to have one. And you need to ask judges what their standard is because you don't want to get frustrated, you know, going through the circuit and taking competitions. And you're like, dang, why did I get higher? You want to talk. You want to have open dialogue with people so at least you can understand their foundation of how they're actually judging you. You can learn a lot from that. When I first did my competitions, I didn't know. I didn't even know to ask. I was just frustrated going, why didn't I win? How do I know it wasn't personal? <laughs> what do you mean they won? Look at the tape. We did the exact same thing, right? So you don't want to put yourself in that position. You want to know why you're competing and really like, well, how are people judging you so that you know exactly the clear reference point. So when you put your hard work in, you know how to actually meet the expectations of that goal. Okay. So you guys heard it from me. What did you guys think about these dancers? I liked it. Majority of it, I did not think it got too out of control, which I have seen happen plenty of times. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget, you're at my house. My children are next door. No profanity and no circular reasoning. I'm trying to teach them how to be intelligent and share their opinion respectfully and always tell the truth, even if it's inconvenient. So please, if you're going to share your opinion with me, you're sharing it with me first. And if it's civil, I might share it with my friends who are watching this channel. So. I'm looking forward to hearing your civilized opinion about this competition. If you guys aren't dancing yet, get off your rear end and get out there and start dancing. I am sure you can probably still take classes at this studio. I don't know if Inspiration Weekend is a studio or it's an event, but I'm sure there's dances there. If you're there and you're watching this and you're in the, that area, take a class. It is worth it. It will change your life. My whole life has been changed and it's been enriched by the relationships of people that I've met through swing dancing. It's life changing. So if you guys need a head start, I encourage you to check out my fundamentals membership. It will help you accelerate your swing dance learning curve so you don't take years to get good at this. In fact, you will be able to start fixing yourself when you're social dancing. That's how good it is. I spent a lot of hours, over 10,000 documented hours of social dance to deconstruct the Lindy Hop and make it super simple for people like you. If you guys want to get some inspiration and just some new moves and ways to do things, I encourage you to check out some of my courses. I put together a lot of time and effort into creating new things uh, here in my home studio right next door. We got a lot of students that are chiming in every single Monday and Tuesday, and I want you to get a taste of that. So check it out. Let me hear your comments below. And if I don't see them, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class one-on-one. -on -one. Take care.